welcome again in the second video of Tundles and Contra. Myself, I am Vidula Ranjit Vaskar Patil from Department of Civil Engineering, KIT's College of Engineering, Kulapur. So today in this lecture of tenders and contract, we will see following points. Yes, in the first lecture we have discussed types of tender, difference between tender and contract, tender document. Today we will see tendering process, submission and envelope method of the submission and opening of tender, scrutiny and acceptance of the tender and the award okay so this is the flow chart of tendering process so here we have seen uh, in the tender document that the proposal is submitted in the form of notice either in the detailed tender notice or the notice which is sent into the newspaper so the first part so the first part in this process is inviting tender notice for the particular project after sanctioning of the project okay the notice has been led uh, into the newspaper parallelly the procurement team of the particular department is formed who will prepare this tender document okay now this team they prepare and develop a tender document and evaluation criteria that how this uh, process of tendering need to be carried out list of pre-qualification requirement of that particular project of the contractor so call it call uh, contractors pre-qualification criteria have been decided issue of tender after deciding this and preparation of tender document the tender is issued to the contractors okay after uh, getting from the information from the tender notice on the day of issuing tender, they purchase the tender document, they evaluate uh, the, thoroughly the tender document and now sometimes they have some queries or they sometimes they do not understand uh, some of the conditions. So what they have to uh, fill the pre-bid uh, or they have to fill the bid immediately? No. They can ask some questions here. If there are some queries, they can ask here. But where they have to ask? For that purpose, a pre-bid meeting, a tender briefing meeting is kept. Okay. Before submission of bid or before submission of the cost of the project by that particular contractor, a tender briefing meeting that is called as pre-bid meeting is held. After pre-bid meeting, the contractor can submit his bid okay in a given format that is envelope system we will see after this tendering process next the bid is open on the particular day in front of all the contractors it's not open in the closed format it the bids are open in front of all the contractor in the given location given time okay For, uh, here this bid can be conducted in one stage whole document has been open or it can be open in two stages that we have seen in the uh, video one the stage uh, of the contract or the contract tendering uh, classification okay in the first two stage method pre-qualification of the contractor has been evaluated first if they fulfill all the requirement of the pre-qualification then the bid document that is the second envelope is open so this is how the bid opening is done in the front of all the contractors for the fair and transparency of the opening or this evaluation of tender process it is done in front of all the people or representative from that particular company initial evaluation is done then after uh, this uh, meeting has been conducted post pre-bid meeting so here in this initial evaluation what has been done they finalize uh, last lowest three contractors because it is very difficult within one day or two day to finalize the last contractor so what they do according to this bidding information they finalize the lowest three contractor okay then post free bid meeting evaluation of each la lowest three uh, bidders has been finalized then it is evaluated inspected every document is check of that uh, three lowest three contractor then supplier is shortlisted 
what supplier the if the material is procured by uh, this uh, contractor then who are the suppliers is been discussed their presentation is taken that how they are executing the work then the final selection procedure comes there if some negotiated relation uh, related to the cost if required is done and the last part that is award of contract has been conducted so this is the uh, step wise procedure of tendering process so many times in this tendering process we have gone through this one terminology emd so what is this in this money deposit it's an amount of money to be deposited along with the tender document to the department by the contractors submitting the tender it has only been submitted for the bidders who is submitting their proposal this money guarantees guarantees again the refusal of contractor to take up the work after acceptance of his tender means if he is awarded the work and he refuses then this process uh, is need to be uh, conducted once again so who will bear this cost or if they are only uh they're not willing to do but they are just there for uh, seeing what is the process then this will uh, the, this will increase the time of this tendering process so avoid such things to happen the emd is collected that only the genuine contractor will submit their bid okay it's generally 1 to 2% of the total project cost if in between the contractor refuse after ex giving the award of tender he refuses to, to do the work his this emd amount is been fortified means it is not refunded back to the contractor if the bidders are not been selected during this process if the bidders are not been selected their amount is refunded only the amount of selected bidder is withheld with the department okay so this is emd this is submitted during the process of uh, uh, submitting the bid to the department if a person miss to submit this uh, emd his again tender is considered invalid so it it goes uh, in the uh, goes out of the round of bid next is security deposit now uh, this terminology is related to the amount that security amount for what the security amount is required uh, if a contractor does a work which is not according to the procedure or it does faulty work after completion and of the project we come to know about it now how the repair and maintenance of that work need to be done on what cost who is who is bearing this cost so that those repair and maintenance is done under from the amount which is withheld from the contractor's bill and those repair is done from this security deposit the security deposit is collected from 5 to 10% of the total bill so if the contractor bill is uh, one cr then the security deposit if it is 10% it will be 1 uh, sorry 10 lakhs so 10 lakhs amount is withheld with the uh, department from the running account now what is this running bill each month the bill has been given to the contractor from that each bill the 10% amount is withheld with the department if the bill is about 1 cr the contractor has been given 90 lakhs okay the contractor has been given 90 lakhs the 10 lakh is been uh, withheld with the department and this 10 lakh is not collected at last it is collected in every running bill every monthly bill if the monthly bill is something 10 10 lakhs then 1 lakh amount is withheld with the department so this how it is collected in every running bill and when it is refunded when it is refunded it is refunded after the defect liability period so what is this defect liability period it is mentioned in the tender condition that whatever the faults or repair has to be done it will be done within 1 year or 2 years so this and if there is no repair 
the whole amount is been refunded to the contractor if it say if we say the repair is of 1 lakh and we have withheld 10 lakhs so whatever the work cost is 1 lakh we will use it for the repair and maintenance and rest of the amount that is 9 lakhs we will re refund to the contractor after the completion of deferred liability period okay so this is security deposit submission of tender so now submission of tender is done in three envelope system so what is this three envelope system in the first envelope the technical proposal is given only technical information of the contractor in the second envelope financial proposal has been given and in the third envelope the legal and administrative proposal and under what clauses they are going to do this work so you here we can see in the first proposal what has been given the project schedule quality assurance plan the health and safety plan the environment plan what the contractor has carried the comp complete profile of the company past project key personals who are working in the company technical capacity capabilities of that company specification how they are adhered if there is some innovative design that need to be submitted in this first part only if this first part is clear of the uh, contractor okay this in the two two stage tendering or three uh, stage tendering system with the first envelope they are uh, match all the qualification requirement then only their second envelope has been open the second envelope consists cost estimate payment terms financial guarantee that is bid bond performance bond insurance certificate additional financial information that is cost and control method met measures profit margins if it's been mentioned and the last that is legal and administrative proposals so some legal documents if required tax certificates it's submitted in the third envelope uh, insurance bonding administrative information other legal administration document which cannot be disclosed at the first only so that can be mentioned here in the third envelope and this third envelope is only open of the selected contractor not every contractor's third envelope is open so this how the scrutiny is done okay a seal tender is open in front of all the contractors on the specified date time and venue initially envelope number one is open checked for the technical compliance emd and non-selective contenders uh, get their uh, emd back within 15 working days now the selected who has fulfilled the compliance their second envelope is open okay from the second envelope you will find the bid of the document the cost of the project on which they are working amongst this lowest three bidders have been find out and the rest emd of the other contractor is been written back within next 15 working days now amongst this third three contractor who last three bidders the envelope of this last three bidders is only open okay and thoroughly uh, scrutinizing each and every page of the document we finalize the final contractor and emd of the last two bidder is again written back then within the next 15 working days okay so this is the scrutiny and ex, uh, scrutiny of the contractor has been done after finalizing the contractor okay final contractor a notice has been given that they are been awarded this tender now this procedure becomes complete when the contractor accepts this bid okay this procedure completes when this contract accepts this bid and last the award of contract has been done so any query regarding uh, to the contract proceeding you can ask me here thank you